Hello again, everybody. This is Mr. Everything, and I'm coming at you with another Wargaming and Miniature video. In this video, we're going to do the Africa Core Starter Army for Bolt Action. Uh, this is, um, I don't know, a thousand points. Does it say? Here we go. No, it just gives me the contents. Okay. Uh, in here, and then what we'll do is we'll open it up, we'll review all the miniatures, and uh, you notice that I did some 8th Army stuff. I posted that onto my YouTube channel, uh, also my uh, eBay channel, and I also have done quite a bit of Blitzkrieg Germans, so I thought I'd jump around and do a little bit of this uh, Africa Corps. All right, so we've got the starter army. We're going to open it up. We're going to take a look at it, see what comes inside, and kind of get a close-up of some of the miniatures. All right, now just looking at the box, it looks like it's just got some advertisements. Uh, it looks like there's contents right here. Uh, it looks like it's going to have 36 Africa Corps infantry, a, a FLAC 88 uh, with seven crew, uh, a medium machine gun, a medium mortar, a Panzer III, and instructions. Okay, so uh, the 88 millimeter flak by itself to me makes this starter set worth worth it because uh, shopping around looking for that flak 88, you're gonna there are different kits around out there, and those are usually around you know forty dollars a piece. So let's go ahead and open this up, take a look, see what we get. All right, guys, let's take a look, see what we get. Okay, it's a nice, clean layout, it looks like. Uh, looks like it's a very uh, Panzer III seal, like this is what you would normally get. Um, easy build treads. It looks like it's got some side skirts for the Panzer III. Uh, I'm, kind of, I'm taking a look for the cannon. Yep, it looks like you've got a long and a short barrel, so depending on the type of Panzer III you want to build, that's what I was looking for, to see if it had the long and short barrel. All right, and it looks like it's also got the little ammo can canister on the back of the turret. It's all skirts. Looks like it'd be fairly easy to put together. All right, let's set that off to the side. Let's take a look and see what we get in here. Ooh, we get a, me a mess in here. Okay, well, we get some of the... I've noticed that uh, the starters, if they have a vehicle, give you the condition markers. There's a smoke or fire. Okay, perfect. Didn't say you got that on the box. Uh, you get a card for the flak. Uh... That's cool. Crew, seven men, the range, the die rolls. So you don't even need to pull out the book or anything. You got it right here. This is really good. And it gives, gives you the point values. All right, like regular is like 160 or something like that. Let's take a look. See if you can. I don't think it'll focus. Okay. You get the idea? Set it off to the side. I'm trying not to get to the troops. I'm kind of trying to just jump around a little bit. Okay, they're sending them to me in Ziplocs. Okay, I'm okay with that. Yikes. Octung Minen? Okay, so I could put some of them on some minefields. And then you get like their shoulders... They're uh, forearm straps and shoulder straps and sides of the helmets. I don't know if I'm going to get all detailed like that. And then here is a decal sheet for the tank. Nice. Like it. Like it. Like it. Like it. This was packed by Morella. Okay. Okay. First, thing. these are each packed by different people, it looks like. This looks like a Africa Corps crew. They're all metal. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Two of these guys are okay. Hold on, I gotta show this to you. Two of these guys is one model. Look at that. <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six. Yep, there's seven. There's a guy sitting on the machine. There's a guy got a got a shell he's loading. Got an officer saying, why aren't you doing it right? Got a guy waiting to hand off a shell. And a guy leaning, waiting to see what's next. Yeah, that's and then carrying an ammo box. Yeah, that's interesting. Packed by Chuck. Well, I just got a bunch of pewter um, mold release on me just by opening that up. So I would recommend soap and water, scrubbing these down maybe with a toothbrush, getting rid of any mold release off of these models so that your paint will stick. Okay, medium mortar also packed by Chuck. 81 millimeter, very nice, very nice. Medium machine gun on a tripod, maybe. Hold on. There is the tripod. Okay, we got the tripod, the machine gun, uh, machine gunner, we got a loader, and we've got an officer given the ceasefire sign behind him for the medium machine gun. That's pretty cool. Okay. Not going to these just yet. More decals. These decals look like they would possibly go on the flak gun. And the reason why I say that is because there's exactly seven for the helmets. And there's little airplanes for like kills. And then there's stripes that would go around the barrel for kills. And plus it says 88 flak on the actual decal sheet. <laughs> okay. I think I would use one of these bases for that uh, crew with the, with the box in their hand. But it might be too big for that. I might have to use something like this, but we'll see. Uh, one of these should be for medium machine gun, one for the medium mortar. Um, this is just a few prones. They give me five prone bases. Okay, that's interesting. And then, okay, that doesn't say. Uh, we've got a bunch of cards. Hang on. Uh, 25 and. 15, what is that, 40, 10, 20, 30, that's 40 round bases, ah, 40, that's a lot of round bases, we'll have to see how many of these guys we have, uh, let's take a look at some of these cards, no, let's not, let's get back to that, this is the 88, this is a serious model, this has got a lot of little parts, um, it looks like it'll go together pretty quickly and pretty easily. It's just that I'm afraid that there's a ton of little parts. So I'll just have to pay attention when I'm putting this together. I'm excited to do that. Okay, let's take a look at these cards. We got a German pan. Okay. These are all Panzer threes. Okay, perfect. That's excellent. You get three versions of a Panzer III that you can make that Panzer III into, right? You got the, that's why I was checking barrels, because you got the Panzer III J, L or M, which is probably the way I would go, and then N, that's like a really short barrel, really long barrel, really long barrel. 
Uh, I'm not sure what the differences are between those. I'll have to take a look. Um, stat wise, anti tank 61 five. Okay, this is this is a howitzer. Both of these are medium anti tank guns. Yeah, howitzer might be cool too. Plus, it's got the side skirts. No transport. No transport. No transport. Defense value nine. Yeah, really cool. So you get all three of these cards depending on which direction you want to go with your tank. That's a nice touch. Okay, and here's the Panzer III construction pamphlet. It's only one sheet. And then... Ah, here we go. The different cannons. The late J or the L and the M have the really long barrel. So apparently there's at least three barrels. That's cool. Uh, the M and the N had the skirts, it looks like. Not the L or the J, it looks like. I'll have to do a little research on that. Okay. 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 Haven't got to that yet. Okay, now we're talking about more pamphlets here. This is the Africa Corps infantry sheet. This is the standard thing you would get in a box of Africa Corps infantry. Okay, so the anti-tank rifle, light mortar machine gun could all go on these. Uh, okay. Let's just show a bunch of dudes on on those. But I would guess that they don't have to go on those. It just depends on how you set it up. And then what does this say about that decal sheet? Included with the set is a full color water slide decal sheet, add insignia to other fine details of your newly painted Africa Corps models. In addition to helmet markings, collar tabs, and rank badges, cuffs, and minefield warning signs. Yeah, I'm going to be able to use those minefield warning signs for sure. Okay, and this is a booklet that was for the flak, right? And I didn't expect. I was not hoping for a big book on how to build the flak. Not too terrible. Pretty easy. Pretty easy. Yeah, it'll be easy. I'll have it done in one day. And then how to paint the guys. Except this group doesn't okay here we go that's the german army and this is the africa corps and shows yep yeah, it shows them on one of these bases that's what it shows them on okay now let's take a look actually you get six of these one of them fell out of this. Okay, so one for the flak and then five others. Okay, cool. I do believe that all of these bases are going to be exactly the same. Yep. Yes, sir. These bases are all exactly the same. These sprues are all exactly the same so you get six sprues and on each sprue you get six guys so that's 36 men not counting the crews of all the gear 
so just 36 I could easily make 30 squad or three squads of 10 if I wanted and then I'd have six other guys uh, I can make mortars or any tank rifle teams or whatever the whatever the um, TO and East calls for but let's take a good look at these models okay I like this rifle looks a lot like okay he's got a grenade in his right hand that's a mp40 okay loading a rifle and two hands you just gotta attach your arm got a kneeling guy got a prone guy that's pretty much standard in every set uh machine gun Okay, the only machine gun they have is prone. I don't think that's a standing machine gun. I'll have to take a look. Seventeen. It just says right arm with machine gun, which is true. And it looks like... That's a right arm as well, so I don't know. You got the light mortar right there. Ah, that's a guy loading the mortar. Okay. Got an arm firing a rifle, carrying a rifle, firing a MP40. Carrying an MP40 in his left hand which means he could have a map or a grenade or something else in his right hand. Let me take a look here. Wow, they got an individual canteen. Got a hand with just pointing, so that'd be good for the guy carrying this machine gun, submachine gun. Okay, pouches. They got a uh, open machine gun ammo can separate, just laying on the ground. That's cool. I could put that with the machine gunner and not with the loader if I wanted. Uh, mortar rounds in a box right there. These are all actually really good. These could be used at so many other places. This looks like a map with a compass sitting on it. I'm going to have to paint that up. Get down there and put some grid lines on there and then you got uh, desert caps I don't know what kind of caps these are but they look like old pith helmets you know the German style pith helmet and then you got the uh, garrison cap you got the officer cap you got uh, the standard German helmet one with goggles this guy's got soft cap with goggles this guy's got a scarf around his neck. Soft cap. Yeah, there are mm, so many options. Okay, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of options, but if you get creative, you can make some really cool miniatures. Okay, I'm going to definitely get into that. All right, so we, what, what do we see today? We saw... 36 German infantry it could be used in various different ways. Three cards for the tank. A card for the flak. 40 bases. Right, for your infantry plus five so 45 bases that's more than the 36 guys you get because the crew okay the crew are gonna have to have their own bases as well so seven so six yeah you're still gonna have extra bases you're gonna have a ton of extra bases um, because the 
medium machine gun will go on its own base. The medium mortar will go on its own base. The three smoke clouds have a base with them. Uh, I like to put these on something like a uh, um, one inch fender washer to give it a little bit of weight. Then you got the flak gun. You got decals wazoo. You get the flak gun uh, decals. You get the tank decals. And then you get, it looks like more than enough decals for your infantry. Yeah, there's 45 helmets just on one decal sheet. So that's pretty cool. And there's various different ranks. Yeah. And then you get a tank that you can build in three different ways. You can, well, multiple ways. You can build it as a J, L, M, N. Yeah, you can make any of those. Um, instructions. And then a little history, assembly, and painting guide for um, their flat gun. Wow, you get quite a bit of stuff in this. All right, guys. All right, and there's a follow-up before I go ahead and close out the Africa Corps uh, review. I had went ahead and finished painting these, and so I thought I'd like to let you sh see them and give you some of my thoughts of the of the models. The the metal crew models very easy to paint, very easy to clean. Scrubbed them down. They're looking really good. The model here, the the uh, flat gun, was insane to put together. It took me all night to do it. Uh, very small parts and lots of them. Uh, once it got put together, it's it's a beautiful model. It's one of my favorite models from Warlord. I really like it a lot. Plus, I got that metal seated figure in there as well. But this was a, a pretty cool touch. This is the anti-tank gun uh, firing position. But then you can uh, elevate the gun for a for flak, right? So, or just just for fun, you know, you can you can elevate the gun to about there. Uh, there are uh, these hydraulic pistons here actually have a couple of rods that connect to the back of this gun. So watch these pistons as I lower the gun. I don't know, you can't really see it, but those pistons are actually moving up and down uh, as the rod goes in and out. I thought that was pretty cool. The way it's pictured is to glue this to the base uh, and it looks, and I figured that I could just sit it on the base, on the on the uh, legs, and be able to turn it and twist it. Can't do it. Uh, there's no real, it's not like a turret of a tank that you can have two pieces, one underneath, one on the top, and then it won't come off or whatever. Because once I put this metal crew member on there, that added enough weight to have this tip over to the side. So I had to actually glue it to the legs. Okay, and then so I figured I'd put it in a off-center firing position. Okay, so let's take a close look. At, oh yeah, uh, let's take a close look at all these models and then we'll be right there. I'm sure that's the one you wanna see right there. That looks pretty good. I got the kill markings right there. Uh, Went ahead and painted it up. Got the crew member painted. You know, he's, 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 uh, looking out that hole there. And, uh, yeah, these pistons actually move. You can't really see it, but okay. Yeah, this is really cool. I really dig this model. Okay, let's show you some of the some of the finished crew members. 
Uh, these guys are carrying an ammo box. This guy is loading a shell. This guy's waiting to give him the next shell. This guy's kind of leaning in, having a drink of water out of his canteen. And this is the officer, apparently. He's directing. He's got a pen in his hand. He's writing something down on that notebook. Now, I thought about how would these guys go on here? Well, this guy's obviously there, but this guy could be right there loading. Yeah, this guy could be right here loading. And I was thinking this this guy here, because he's kind of like also a loader, but they both have shells in their hands. And you notice how they're just barely fitting on this is a four inch circle. And then if we had to, this these two bases could sit on the side like that, or they could sit on this side. I could turn them so it looks like they're carrying shells back. They fit on this side much better, it seems like. Yeah, you can have them face in either direction. But I'm going to put them right there. And then you would think that these guys would be able to both fit on the side here. Uh, but I don't really feel like they will. So I put this guy up front in front of this gun and this guy just on the side. So there you got your entire crew on a four inch circle. All right, and that's what uh, and now I just need to go paint the rest of my uh, Africa Corps figures. All right. I hope you enjoyed that video, and I'll catch you next time.